Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lokan here, and today we're jumping into some gameplay with the World Tournament. Uh, essentially, this is what I'm going to be doing. I, I haven't jumped into the World Tournament whatsoever yet. Um, I don't plan on going hard until tomorrow. It's currently like 9 o'clock in the morning on Thursday. Uh, the World Tournament just started a couple hours ago. Um, as you see on my screen right here, I'm going to be using my Android-led team with all the AoEs that I currently have in the game, all the decent ones anyway. Uh, this cell isn't really going to do anything. I, I don't think he is. He's not Doken Wake, and he's at Super Attack 1. He has no dupe system. But on the lower levels, he's going to be a little bit more useful just because he can help wipe everyone out. Uh, that Trunks usually doesn't do that well either, but they're AoEs. They'll be able to knock a couple people out, especially when they have a type advantage. Uh, essentially, what my plan is for this weekend, since it's such a long tournament, we have five days. I have all the all the different teams that I had gone over in my World Tournament team building guide. I'm going to essentially use in the World Tournament uh, so I can demonstrate each of them. So every day I'll be doing a different one. So I see here now I have my uh, Technique team. Um, I have my tech, uh, Goku, as my leader for the nuking, and then the Majin Vegeta for my AoE, my two orb changers, then Buhan for healing, and then Janemba for blocking. Plus, Janemba's pretty damn decent in the dupe system. Uh, I'll just show you really quick. My Janemba, 1200, he has plus, you know, 3000 to 4000 in every single area. Defense is plus almost 5000. And I have, like, a lot of double techs, <clears throat> some uh, dodge, uh, some crits. I figure there's no reason for me to give him dodge because he already blocks so much and he has a built in dodge. So I just gave him crits for additional damage because there's no reason not to. I mean, that's my opinion on it. I know a lot of people won't go with that down that route, but I'm not going to go into the Janemba building right now. Uh, next is the physical AoE. I don't know how well this is going to do. I never really use the physical AoE just because Trunks doesn't hit hard at all. I don't have him at Super Attack 10 either or no, no dupe system fed into him. Um, he's just Super Attack 3, and that's it. <laughs> Um, but I have the two orb changers, the nuke leader, and then the, again the healer and the blocker. Uh, the same thing here, except this one, I have all orb changers, and I, I have two nukers here, so I want to make sure that they all are set up. So I have my Super Saiyan 3 Goku lead, because he's the nuke leader. Uh, that of the OG Broly, which I believe he's at Super Attack 10. Yeah, he's at Super Attack 10. He's the hardest hitting a of the o original OG AoEs, uh, so he will do that. I just don't like running him because he takes too long to AoE. Then you have Raleigh, who's a lot better, in my opinion, than the Broly, because I believe she has... Does she have immense? No, she has mass damage. But she gives herself attack and defense plus 70% up, so she'll tank even if she doesn't kill everyone. Then the three orb changers. I should have a healer there, but I'll just use Sensor Beans for that. Um, and then I have my Broly, my 90% Broly-led team. I'm bringing a Raleigh on it just because I don't know how she's going to hit with a 90% with a, with a or with a 90% yeah, Broly leader. Um, I have two orb changers and then two stunners, just because. Um, and then I have, obviously, my AoE team that I'm going to be running, and then I have my Nuker team for uh, LR Broly and for Arale, just because this is the one I plan on running. We're going to see how well this works and if I actually need to have the Nuker with me. Um, we'll have to take a look at my friends list by the end of today to see if everyone's running LR Broly or not. If everyone's running an LR Broly, then I'm going to bring my LR Broly as a lead. If not, then I'm going to bring my Nuker as a lead, so I have two Nukers on my team. And then at some point, at some point, I am going to do a... Uh, uh, a non-AOE World Tournament on 20 times Multiplier to see if I can go up against it and what team I can bring with me. So, without f without further ado, sorry for that. I know it was, only, it was only a couple minutes. I just wanted to make sure I gone, went over all the teams, what my plan is for this weekend. So today's Thursday. Today's going to be the introduction to the World Tournament. You have been invited to the 15 World Tournament. All right, cool. Let's go ahead. And where's the announcer guy? There he is. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for traveling from far and wide to be here. For today is the day of one and only World Tournament. Needless to say, there is but one goal, victory. Who will survive the preliminaries and conquer the finals and bask in the glorious glow of triumph? Honor, however, is, is but half the bounty. Win prizes galore to match your win count, and loads of, with, there's loads of luscious loot to look out for. And there are more amazing prizes to offer as contestants fight to see who gets the most tournament points. Yes, 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 okay, it just does the thing in the background. Rack up the victories, amass tournament points, and climb up the rankings. Movement around the board and battles are a little different from what your regular quests, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we're not going to go through every single thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, so if, I haven't done a, turn, a tournament uh, guide yet in terms of what the tournament is and everything, so I will be doing that at some point. Just not now, probably the, during the next World Tournament. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the rewards real quick. Okay, so we do have that Vegeta. Can we click on this yet? No, the band I need to make is so that we can click and take a look at the card details when it becomes available. But let's see, uh, 250, oh cool, we, ha we can get that card up to 10,000th place. Personally, I plan on going for 2,500 to 5,000. Um, it's a long world tournament, that's why I don't think I'm going to get for the top 1,000 to 2,500. Usually on the three-day ones, I can get there. Uh, but I don't really need that Vegeta, I'm not a big fan of the Vegeta itself. 
but I could definitely use some of the GSS, well, I would like the GSSRs and the Elder Kai's. I mean, the Elder Kai's between these two, what the heck's the difference? Oh, one less Vegeta? Yeah, I'm, I'm very content with the 5,000th place. I don't want to get down, let's see. Yeah, I want to get to the uh, top 5,000th place because I want to get that uh, three Elder Kai's there. Um, local mission rewards as standard. Uh, I'm going to be going... I don't need the Piccolos anymore, I just want the Master Marks, and I can get Master Marks in the second or third place. So that makes it easier, I'm definitely going to go for the second to third place there, assuming depending on where I land. I mean, I might come in first place where, depending on how I grind, it all depends on where you end up. And I'm looking, I just want to see, I don't remember seeing the Redstone in here at all. Oh, the Redstone is there, so we have five wins and you get the Redstone. So for those of you who are still contemplating, um who you want to use the redstone on and you don't have an aoe use it on broly so that way you can get through the world tournament easier if you plan on participating in world tournaments in the future um, plus he's just good aoe to have aoe's are always make event level grinding with multiple opponents easier um so then you can come here and grab the, the red one and then you could use it on the you know any of the other guys actually any of them are really good to use and i did do a video on it um if you want to go back and watch that go ahead and check that out but Without further ado, that's enough of me rambling. I'm going to get all of these freaking rewards. I know that for a fact. Um, 2.5 multiplier. Let's go ahead and take this on. And we're just going to go through all of this one round just so we can get this thing started. Um, oh, cool. Look at that LR Broly. We're going to take another LR with me. So now I might have an entire team of AOEs over here. So we're going to take one of those. Some key orb manipulating items. Um, we're going to take a launch. We're going to take that. Uh, and Oh, that's all I can take. All right, cool. So there we go. The good thing about this is you don't really need that many, you know, first off, you don't need to get their AOEs off like really hard. You don't need uh, any nuker units or anything like that. Um, okay, peel off to here. Let the preliminaries begin. All right, I'm not going off any, going up against anyone super hard right now. I kind of wish I was going off against like one of like the bonus round characters. Oh, one thing I did want to state, I did just read a Reddit post. Um, the World Tournament stamina use does not count towards your mission rewards. Um, apparently that's not a thing. I, I don't know. I never really paid attention to that. I usually just go and do all the daily missions when they are available. And by the time I do like the Turtle School training, the you know orb collectors and all that kind of stuff, it, I usually have um, have everything I need. So six. No, we're going to put you here. We're going to use Raleigh to get her AoE off. Uh, yeah, we're going to do that. And... I, mean, I think I should be fine there. I think Arale should be able to take them all out. Look at that. I like her attack animation. It's so freaking unique. It's cool. It, it actually brings the cartooniness out of it. And I understand that's exactly what she's supposed to be. Arale is a gag character created by Akira Toriyama. I just like her super attack when she's doing the AoE. And it takes a little bit longer. It's almost like the Brawly animation in terms of length. That's cool. There we go. So I knocked that entire team out. Now, for those of you new to the game or new to the World Tournament, that, that's exactly what this is. It's literally just a grind fest of you going through and hitting up every single card, or every single round that you could do. There's a lot of stamina. It actually costs you uh, Dragon Stones if you want to renew the stamina to place. People go hardcore. Some people will literally start their, start the day it comes out and not play nonstop. Some guys will make, create teams, have one account and create a team between multiple people for the World Tournament. Um, one thing you do want to make sure you do when these guys in the preliminary round start fighting each other, run over to them as quick as you can, so that way you get all the points. I mean, look, this half the team's already wiped out. That's half the points I now don't get. Um, all right, cool. We'll just go ahead and do that. The good thing about the Broly, the Broly, the LR Broly, is they tank before they launch their super attacks. They're pretty damn decent tanks before they launch their super attacks. Um, the Cell's really not that great, in my opinion. I don't really like him as an AOE, but just for for these rounds, he's going to do pretty decent. Um, Cell, he, if you don't know, he has to have 11 key precisely in order to launch a super attack and as i was saying before mine isn't really that great um, i don't have super attack leveled up though i, sh I could uh, i have essentially a before the dupe system came into place i ended up pulling like six or seven of the technique cells so i have actually i have i pulled eight so i have my um doken variant is at super attack two and then i have an undoken variant at super attack six and then i think i have like one more so I'm going to reverse Doka him at some point when he becomes viable on a, on a Broly team when that Broly comes out. Alright, let's see. What do I want to do? I'm trying to figure out who I, how I want to go about this yet, because this is what I was afraid of. Uh, I'm going to have to go... You know, Let's use a launch, because maybe launch will give my Vegeta the uh, plus three. And plus two that he needs. Yep, he, she did. Perfect. And, you know, there we go. Just because that will give me some key healing. 
and this is the Vegeta. Now, Vegeta was always, has always been my favorite in terms of world tournament grinding. His attack animation, as you can see here, watch it, you'll see how quick it goes. He is has a quicker animation than the Broly and the Arale. Uh, the Trunks is quicker than him, but the Trunks doesn't hit as hard. Uh, so the Vegeta, in my opinion, in terms of World Tournament grinding, of the OG AoEs, that Vegeta is the best. Um, the new I, I don't have the Tech Majin Vegeta, the new LR, so I couldn't tell you if he is better than the LR Broly. If I end up running into a friend with one, then uh, we'll definitely, <clears throat> I'll definitely let you know. Uh, hell, if I do it on this video, that would be great too. I just don't know a lot of people who have the Tech Majin Vegeta friend. All right, cool. There's that. There's that. I got some two two mission rewards. Yep, Chapatier, Hercule, here, ten thousand points. There we go. That, see, that's how easy it is when you have an AOE. And you just go right through and you get all the re the rewards because you level up super fast. Let's see if I can find a Majin Vegeta lead. I'm not gonna go super searching for this thing, but. If I find one, I'll use it. Alright. No, 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 no. Alright, cool. So you know we're new. We're just going to grab another LR Broly. And we're going to go in on this. Now, I know my video. I, I did forget. Or not forget. I just didn't mention that you can technically bring a Rose lead for an extreme AoE team. Which is the uh, one of the Broly's and the let's see, Tech Maj and Vegeta. I'm trying to figure out which way I want to go right now. Uh, so you could bring the, the LR Broly and the Tech Majin Vegeta, and who else? Is there any, uh, the, the Cell? I guess you could bring Cell. Cell would be okay to bring. Um, they're all AoEs, and they're all villain types or extreme types. So you could actually bring them with a with a key buff and the stat buff. The stat buff does come into play. It's very useful in the World Tournament, because if someone comes and hits you for a lot of damage, you're not going to die. Uh, super attacks in the World Tournament at 20 times multiplier can be very vicious against you if you don't have the type advantage. Um, when you're doing 20 time multiplier, I'm going to go over the support items to bring at some point in the future when I actually go over it. Uh, but you're going to want to make sure, ooh, you know what, I want to showcase the LR Broly too right now, so we're going to put him there. Let's see, is that 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, yeah, we got more than enough. Alright, cool. There we go. Oh yeah, like, look at that, 25,000 and then 6,000 here. But I'm on a low multiplier right now, I'm on 2.5. So, when you are running the World Tournament on a 20-time um, multiplier, a normal attack can do massive amounts of damage to you and actually kill you. Uh, you like, I'm going to do a showcase later, I'm going to do the 20 times, but it's probably going to be like a Ghost Usher, a King Yemma, a Sensu Bean, and one Key Orb Changing Idol. At least that's how I run it, that's how I've always run it. Um, pay attention when you play, you're going to need to make sure you pay attention. Um, right now, global side is lucky, uh, you know, because you can actually, you know, close the app and restart the turn if the enemy launches a super attack, so you could Ghost Usher. Uh, in the future, once that gets changed out and you can't close the app anymore, uh, you're going to have to play very cautiously, so make sure you do that ball mode grinding event. Oh, look at that. Freaking, uh, that's why I always go for the gold uh, capsules when I'm grinding the World Tournament when I see an Awakening Medal, because chances are there's a higher chance, I believe, I don't know any official information, but I usually get Elder Kai's or Supreme Kai's from them. That's why I have like 30 apiece for each of them. So, look at that. Fidel tier, 50,000 points. Alright guys, two more to go. Semi-finals and finals. Luckily, the last two rounds are going to be quicker because I only have to go up against one opponent, and I have a full team of AoEs. Let's bring this Broly and see how he fares uh, I don't have him on this team right now. I, of course, because I have the LR Broly, he hits a lot harder and he tanks a lot better. i just taking a sip of my monster. <laughs> Alright. One thing I will say about the World Tournament. On the field, the way I typically go when I move, I'm not going to do it in this video for the sake of time. And it's already been taking, what, I'm already at almost 15 minutes here. So, or 14 minutes. But uh, I usually categorize the purple gold capsules, the medals, the actual medals for, for the event. And then after the medals, I will categorize or I'll prioritize. Um, hold on, I'm also trying to concentrate here. I'll also try to uh, prioritize the cards because when you get a Z Awakened card, it makes it a lot easier for you to um, Doken Awaken or train your your uh, your cards up so that way you get their levels higher the z awaken card gives a lot more experience plus you could also sell them if when you sell them for uh you know zenny they cost a lot more so i think but i think it's all a very insignificant amount for the, just like the, the normals of uh, z awaken terrors but they still give you a lot more zenny bobbing is not worth it. it's only like one bob point a piece so i usually just train them into my cards that need to be leveled up usually my srs that feed into super attacks it makes it go quicker 
There we go. Results revealed. Now, I usually change my nickname on here. Maybe someone will see it and go, oh, who's this guy? And jump onto YouTube to come and watch. By the way, videos like this I just do so that way you guys can jump on and grind along with me. Since I can't live stream, my computer can't handle it. I just do things like this. If I was able to live stream, I'd probably live stream most of the weekend. Now, maybe at some point, maybe for, um, you know, like around you know October, November, hopefully maybe I can start putting some money away for a new computer system. But uh, it usually it's, uh, it's a choice between me saving up for uh, a big banner that comes out, like the second year anniversary, I've been putting money away for that, or it's for a new computer system. And because my primary is the game, um, up until this point anyway, um, I didn't have for any other reason to save up for a new computer system. My computer is what I needed to do. I need to access the internet. I go on the internet. All right, there we go. Got my gold medal. Hopefully there's a like, supreme time there or something like that. And we're going to end strong. Ooh, are we? Yeah, we're going to need a launch. We need to get the launch in there so that way we can get Broly up to uh, yeah, super attack. Then again, I haven't showcased that uh, cell. I kind of feel bad. Uh, all right. That's all right. That's all right, cell. One day you'll get your glory. And now everyone will be not knocked out, and then that will be it. Wow, look at this guy. He has Super Saiyan 4... Goku and LR Gohan. What a bastard. I, I tried so hard to get that LR Gohan. I almost cried. <laughs> I have uh, I have like 32 Master Mark medals right now sitting in my box. Oh, man. I mean, it's cool because when the when the um, damn Battlefield comes around, uh, you know, assuming it comes around soon, I don't ever have to purchase the medals. I'm just going to need the, the Ginyu. Once I get two Ginyus, maybe like four, actually, I'm probably going to want to go for four Ginyus. That way I can open the top, left, bottom, right, get them up to Super Attack 20. But um, once I'm done with that, I have no, I'll, I'll have no problems whatsoever, and I, I can purchase them, and then everything else is probably going to go to orbs, because orbs are hard to come by. All right, we got the Corrin here. All right, let's go see what else we got. Mission rewards. Now, this is the first time clearing it. This is what you get for first time clearing. Um, you, do, I, you do rank up quicker with an AoE, so you might not rank up as fast as I did. Um, there we go. Times one. Core and tier. So I'm like, I'm already up to the tier. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rank. Not the rankings. Uh, tiers. So I'm on the core and tier right now. So that's down here. That's League A. Uh, we are going for League G. And that's like Beerus tier. Like, there's already 8,000 people up there. They're freaking nuts, man. That's what I'm talking about. So we can go over here, though. And then we're going to go into the mission rewards. And we're going to collect the mission rewards. Once it wants to load. And then, so we got to advance to the semifinals. You got a Dragonstone for that. And then advance to the corner finals, Dragon Ball Summon tickets, and then Dragon Ball Summon tickets times five. Uh, and let's see over here. And then we have 17 gifts from all the actual rewards from the World Tournament. So look at that. We'll take a look at all that. It's cool. We got a whole bunch of different things in here. And I have a whole bunch of items I can't actually accept right now. Kind of stinks. Think about just bobbling some of them, but they're not really worth it. Yeah, I have so many Sensus. And then we have the Hercules. But yeah, that's it, guys. That's, um... <laughs> that's the world tournament uh, beginning that's the opening I'm gonna be putting up a video uh, every day uh, in terms of where I'm at in the world tournament checking in to see where you guys are at since I can't live stream uh, let me know where you guys are at let me know if you're gonna be going for the reward or if you're just going for the missions because I know some sometimes it's just not worth it uh, there's been a couple world tournaments where I just said screw it I'm just going for the mission rewards and I stop right there so that way I can grind out other things personally today um, I'm gonna be grinding out the GT event and after I'm done, and that's the, um, the the new GT event that came out for the Hercule badges. And once I'm done with that, I'll be grinding out the GT apples. Um, I finish up the second tail. Uh, where are you? This this event. So I'm gonna be grinding out this event. And once I'm done with that, I'm gonna be grinding out the other GT event until I get all the apples, so I can get another elder, two elder kais. Once I get those two elder kais, then I'm probably gonna be done with that. Uh, hopefully, I will have time today to finish up that because I still haven't grinded out the metal Sudoku Ink and my Pikuon or my Super Saiyan Kaioken. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Grindfest, Grindfest, guys. Get to it. Let me know what you're doing in the World Tournament. Let me know if you plan on going for the card, or if you're just going for the mission rewards. And if you guys need some help with team building, let me know. I'll see what I could do. Um, I, you know, there's not a lot of you guys hitting me up for it, so I, I do have some extra time to do it. Uh, but hit me up over on the uh, TMV, the multiverse, over on Facebook. Uh, that's where I'm most active. Just tag me in the post. But alright, guys. Thank you for joining me here today. I appreciate it. Hit that sub button if you're new here, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.